Today's video, we're going to do a scavenger hunt in our kitchens. I'm in my kitchen right now, and you're in your kitchen, and so I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this, and then after class, you can do this activity with a family member. So we have this sheet in your packet, and it has pictures. We have a spatula, a stove, a microwave, a cooking bowl, an oven mitt, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a stirring spoon, this is called a colander, and a knife. And so in my kitchen, I'm gonna walk through and find each of these things. So the very first item is a spatula. In my kitchen, I keep a lot of my cooking utensils in this, it's kind of like a Lazy Susan roundabout thing. And in here are my spatulas. I have a plastic spatula, and I have a metal spatula. So that one is done. You can check it off or move on to the next thing. The next picture was the stove. So here is my stove. This is the stove top. This is the oven. Up here is where you turn the stove on and off. Next is the microwave. So in my kitchen, as you can see, my microwave is placed above my stove. Yours may not be. You may not have one, and that's okay. But here's my microwave. You just open it up like this. It might be messy in there. I don't know. And then these are the buttons that run the microwave. Next is a cooking, like a, um, what do they call it? A cooking bowl that you will use to stir items together. And so in my kitchen, I just moved it. It's in this cupboard. So in this cupboard, I keep like some bigger bowls that I don't use very often, baby food for my grandson, and then right here, I keep my bowls. So here, I have three of them, different sizes, and I use them. If I'm making a lot of something, I'll use the bigger bowl. If I'm just making something small, I may use the smaller bowl. But here they are in my kitchen. Okay, so next is our hot pad. It's important to have these because if you're taking things out of your hot oven or if you're hanging onto a pan on your stove top, you will need an oven mitt. And I keep mine down in this bottom drawer. Now the reason I keep them down there is because if my grandson were to get into my drawer, I want to make sure that it's safe for him. If I kept knives down here, that would not be safe. So I keep things that he cannot hurt him in the lower drawers. Here's my, I have a couple different kinds. These I can use to grab things and I also can use them to set a hot pan on because they have a non-slip back to them. Let's see what else. I also keep my towels in here and baby bibs in here. Let's see what else we have in here. Here's a classic oven mitt right here. This one you can put your hand in like this and hang on to whatever item that is hot that you need to grab. That's where they are in my kitchen. Yours might be in a different spot. Next I have measuring cups and measuring spoons and I keep those in the same place. So I go to this drawer here and it's kind of messy. I try to organize it but then my family comes in and uses my stuff and then I have to reorganize it. But here are my measuring cups I have two different kinds. I have a clear set and an aluminum set. And in the same drawer, I have my measuring spoons. Here they are. And I have the same thing. I have a clear set and I have an aluminum set. All right. Next is a spoon to stir food with. In this picture, it looks like a wood spoon, a wooden spoon, which I do not have. I use these Rubbermaid spoons here. If you don't have these, you don't have to have them. You can use really any spoon to stir. It just depends what you're stirring. If you're stirring something hot, these come in handy because they don't melt. Um, okay, we have two more items left. Next on our list is a colander. 
This colander I keep up by my bowls. It's right here. There's all different kinds of these bowls. Some are plastic, some are metal. It has holes in it. What do you think the holes are for? Hmm, let's think about that. You're right. The holes are so you can drain fluid. So what you would do is place your bowl in your sink. Maybe if you're making spaghetti noodles, they're boiling in hot water, you would pour them in here. And all the water comes out and the noodles stay in. That's the purpose of your colander. And the very last item on our list, and please don't touch them or grab them, is a kitchen knife. Now I wanna show you, this knife looks like a cutting knife. I'm gonna show you two different places I have knives. I don't keep them on my counter. In here, I keep butter knives because they're not very dangerous. And then I also keep like a steak knife. In case you have steak, you need a little bit of a sharper knife, but they're not super sharp. This is where I keep my silverware. However, my very, very sharp knives, I keep in this drawer here. And the reason is it has a special handle on it, so it's harder to access. You actually have to put your finger in and pull. So little children do not have access to this drawer as easily as adults would. And then inside are my sharp knives. See? And so then I make sure to keep them all here and to shut this when I am finished. My husband will be um, putting some childproof locks on that for me soon. So um, safety is very important when you're in the kitchen. So please be safe when you're in here and follow directions very carefully and listen to your parents or your guardians when you're cooking. Um, I'm excited that we get to do some food prep this summer and we're going to have a great time. So um, it's important to know where all your materials are kept in your kitchen.